what's good ravens fans it's your boy jg with the raven space and today we are back for more raven space trivia and games and as always i'm joined by andrew pleasure to be back let's do it let's do it and today our game i call it player removals so what i've done is i've taken pictures of famous ravens moments and i've removed the player that impacted the moment the most right um some of these are hard some of these are easier but we're gonna go through them and we're gonna figure them out are you ready andrew i'm so ready awesome all right let's hop right in please guys remember like subscribe comment and let us know how you did in the comments below all right and the first one is on the screen now so this is a famous raven moment man i can hear kevin harlan saying he broke his ankles he is houdini Yes. Classic Lamar Jackson, one of the best runs of his career against the Bengals in 2019. Like, you are made, correct. <laughs> this is Lamar Jackson. Made Nick Vigil look silly. It, it, again, right? It, I love Lamar, and these are kind of some of the reasons I do. Um, it's just entertainment value is just through the roof. You know, it's it's just amazing. So, all right, we're going to go to so that again. So that was a pretty easy one. They, they will progressively get harder, I promise you. All right. This one here. Oh, man. We've had some moments. We've had some moments against the Chargers. For sure. Now, 43. I believe that's Darren Sproles. I believe this is week two, 2009. 30 seconds left or something. Chargers need a touchdown to stay alive. Third and one. Fourth and one, sorry. And who comes through the middle diagnosing the play perfectly but the GOAT, Ray Lewis, blowing him up in the backfield. There you go. That is that is Ray Ray. That is Ray Ray. Man, I was I was watching that at home. I lost it. That was one of the coolest plays in Ravens history. And the, just the summation of everything that Ray Lewis was about. You knew where the ball was going before the Chargers even did. And... and perfect right like you said knew where, he, knew where the ball was going and diagnosed the play in a way that just uh was just amazing i i loved it so okay all right we are getting into the next one here now this one is hard now i believe this is the 2012 afc championship game and Stephen Ridley just got blown up by the Patriot killer, Bernard Pollard. Wow. I thought that was going to be harder than it was. <laughs> I thought that was going to be harder than it was, as you can see. Uh, Mr. Bernard Pollard was in this. This the, this was the best clip I could get of him. Um, in the very corner of the screen, I thought that was going to make it harder, for sure. But yes, you are 100% right. Uh, man, what, you know, lots of great Ravens moments, man. So, so many. So many. All right, here we go. Let's see. The next one here. I think this one is easy. Oh, yeah. I mean, Super Bowl 47. That's got to be Jacoby Jones, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it speaks for itself. <laughs> okay. I, I had to put it. The picture was so cool it's that I had to put it in there. I had yeah. to put it in there. I, I was trying not to because I said, oh, man, this might be too easy. Um, but look at this picture here. I mean, stuff of legends. And say, uh, again, as a Ravens fan, you got to love this moment. You really do. All right, let's go on to the next one. I believe this is the same man, Jacoby Jones. It's, that's Raheem Moore missing up the uh, Mile High Miracle, Rocky Mountain Rainbow, whatever you want to call it. But Joe Flacco's perfect dime to keep the season alive. And Jacoby's right where he needs to be. I, again, right? I was going to leave this one out too, but the picture is so great that I was like, I got to show this picture. It's so awesome. Like that belongs in the loop. It belongs it, in the loop. It, it, it does. It does. It does. It is a Renaissance painting. That is just gorgeous. It is. It's awesome. All right. Now this one might be harder for the new fans. Let's see. Ooh, my God! This was a trip. This game. This is 2013 at home against Minnesota. Now, I don't think we had. I mean, maybe one touchdown for the first like. 58 minutes of the game mm -hmm. and then i think four in the last like two minutes and whatever many seconds now there's a few i could choose from here is there a chance that this is jacoby again i mean it is not jacoby this not time. jacoby again okay because 
you know, would, Kobe had that that kick return up the sideline. Yep. Um, if this is in the end zone, as I think it is the game winner, I believe the guy who caught that was Marlon Brown. There you go. There you oh. go. Yes, sir. Big dog from Georgia Bulldogs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Undrafted yes. free agent. Underrated. Underrated receiver. And this is one of the moments in Ravens history that, you know, people do forget um, until you bring it up to them, right? And Because and first, the people, the newer, you know, younger fans, they don't they don't remember this moment, right? Because it was, like I said, a while ago. Um, but also because, you know, the NFL has storytelling throughout the season, right? Which are is impactful. Uh, but sometimes the storytelling in the game can be just as impactful. And though we forget about the long term, you know, ramifications of this game, just the theater of it was awesome and makes it memorable in its own. Yeah, and like like even even with like with that, the the game itself was do or die, I think, for both teams. Like we needed this to get in the playoffs and then you get to the final two minutes down up a score down a score up a score down a score like it like your entire season flip-flops like goes on all these divergent paths mm -hmm. where we're actually going and the fact that we came out on the end at just the last second mm -hmm. after one of the nastiest cordell cordero patterson moments rookie year too before he became you know his second life in atlanta as a running back yeah like like a that's a good that's a good that's a good that's a good point to bring that up too but people don't remember that right because cordero yeah. has had some good seasons in atlanta yeah sure. you know. but dude dude was a rookie then he torched us yeah. i thought it was done and then flacco led one of his patented fourth quarter comeback drives and marlon brown like look at him back of the end zone possession feet in like with the snow with the like, snow people like like it looks pretty on screen but you think about how hard that is how much hard like how hard is how hard it is generally to get <laughs> that play happening but to keep possession get your feet in bounds not slide in the back of the end zone with the snow on the ground man iconic crazy. ravens moment for sure for sure all right oh ho, ho, never never forgetting this this is the final play of the 2012 wild card game the last ever home game in Baltimore for Ray Lewis and comes in on the victory formation reports is eligible and stands behind the team. Flacco kneels it and Ray does his dance one last time. That was beautiful. There you go. That's, that's what was missing. Oh, oh, sugar Ray Lewis. There you go. So beautiful. It's awesome. All right. you, you're killing this game. I thought it was going to be a little bit harder, but you're, you're, you're killing it. This is the last one here. <laughs> this is, I think this is the hardest one for most, I think, Ravens fans. Well, now, if y'all don't remember this one, this is the AFC Championship game in the year 2000. Now, the Raiders were one of the toughest defenses in football. They had us pinned back at our own maybe two or three yard line. The black hole in Oakland is just going crazy. Loud as hell. Trent Dilfer hits the inimitable Shannon Sharp on a go round, on a slant up the middle, and he just takes it the rest of the way, top off the defense, 98 yards for the touchdown, quiets the crowd. And that was the moment you knew that Ravens were going to Tampa for Super Bowl 35. Sir, you just threw a perfect game. The <laughs> a perfect game there. You murdered that 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 segment. That this trivia was nothing to you. I gotta go. I gotta go back in the lab now, just because this is, you know, I thought I was throwing fastballs, but it, it, it was not fast enough. So, um, no, kudos to you. This must have, this is a hard game to put together, and you'll be great. Some of these photoshops are excellent, and these are some icon. There's so many iconic Ravens moments that it's just so fun to reminisce about shannon sharp i mean yeah. like for the kids if you ain't seen this before look it up on youtube because it is one of those linchpin moments in raven's history for sure no for sure and, and it's funny too right because hey, everyone knows shannon played for the ravens right but he was yeah. a bronco and you know yeah. but now that his career has taken off so much in media right it's mm -hmm. fun to look back on you know who he was when he had the helmet on you know 
Exactly. So, and especially if, you know, that hard knock season, that was a great. That was peak. Great that, was, that was peak hard knocks, peak Shannon Sharp Ravens tenure. Awesome. All right. So again, that, that one was easy. Uh, so you, you knocked that one out the park. Uh, next time I'm going to come with some more fire because you, you killed that one. You killed it. So Awesome. Thank, thank you guys. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and go Ravens. Go Ravens. Awesome.